I build companies and I support people who are building new things, from social networks to rocket ships. A factory in space. Yes, you heard it right. Varda Space Industries have put a literal factory in space with the help of SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket, taking off from California's Vandenberg Space Force Base along with 72 other tiny satellites, the first ever factory in space is already operational in orbit. Stay with us till the end as we tell you everything about this fascinating factory that will change the course of history. Founded in 2020, Varda was started off by a former engineer of SpaceX with promises of improving products used on Earth by utilizing space. The foundation of this concept was based on trials conducted on the International Space Station a few years ago by Merck and Bristol Myers Squibb, two major pharmaceutical companies along with the ISS National Laboratory. These companies successfully developed the improved stable form of their popular cancer medication Keytruda, which saw them use a shot rather than an IV infusion. The breakthrough was made possible by the realization that particles behave differently in the absence of gravity. This is why Merck was able to improve its drug stability by altering its manufacturing procedures on Earth after observing how their molecule crystallized in microgravity. The atmosphere of microgravity can improve production quality by reducing flaws brought on by gravity. Furthermore, according to NASA, protein crystals generated in space have larger and more precise shapes than those grown on Earth. Then, in 2021, Varda decided to build the first space factory in the universe to produce not only medicinal drugs, but also other goods that could benefit from being produced in microgravity. As a result, the company successfully raised $42 million just one year after its inception and made a contract with the Rocket Lab, which will supply them with four photon spacecraft, the second of which is now undergoing assembly. The spacecraft is made up of a payload module, a re-entry capsule, and a satellite bus. It is worth mentioning that this ambitious spacecraft developed by Rocket Lab provides power, communications, propulsion, and altitude control to Varda's 264-pound capsule. This was specifically critical now that the business has successfully launched its first space factory into orbit. Varda is putting all its initial emphasis on developing formulations for small molecule drugs, but the space business intends to eventually expand to biologics. The company is looking to develop a drug named Ritonavir, which is a medicine that can be used to treat HIV. This formula was also used in a limited amount in the most recently used antiviral pill Paxlovid for COVID-19 therapy. Varda is also collaborating with academic institutions around the globe to create unique formulas in the microgravity environment which are used to power its first space factory. Another incredible medication discovered by Varda is the leukemia immunotherapy treatment Blincyto, which sells for a cool 114.3 billion US dollars per kilogram. Not only this, but the mRNA which makes up the core of Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine and has brought in more than $75 billion for them, is also on the cards to be produced in bulk on the spacecraft. That is why a space-based lab offers a special setting for both R&D and VADA as they can keep the med sterile and do tasks on a micro scale that are just not possible on Earth and produce extremely valuable compounds known to humans. The company has access to microgravity labs where they will produce their medications with unmatched accuracy in crystalline forms. However, it must be noted that the price per kilogram for the active components in these medications might be simply crazy. The California-based company hopes to produce goods in space that can be sent back to Earth quickly. This will be made easy and feasible with increasing accessibility to space over the past few years. The Varda spacecraft will orbit the planet for roughly three months and will then launch almost 90 to 130 pounds of finished goods in an Earth-bound direction. Now for its route back to Earth, the factory will have to launch a retro booster designed to slow it down so that it will fall back down to Earth after orbiting at a height of over 1,000 miles for just over a month. As it descends through space towards its ultimate landing location at the Department of Defense's Test and Training Range in Utah, 
it will speed up to hypersonic speeds above Mach 25 or over 31,000 km per hour. As the air gets thicker, the atmosphere will slow it down and increase its temperature, but it will continue to travel beyond Mach 5 until it is roughly 40 km from the surface. Once it's slowed to around 270 km per hour and has reached the cruising altitude of a commercial aircraft, the spacecraft will then begin to deploy parachutes to bring it down for a gentle landing. No matter what happens, the crystalline medicines on board won't be harmed by the challenging conditions of re-entry. Interestingly enough, VADA has packed up a re-entry as a service proposition that will allow various US government hypersonic R&D programs to perform critical testing in a setting that is significantly more mission relevant than most technologically advanced Mark 15 air tunnel facilities. Since it is a great opportunity for the US Army, VADA will be greatly benefited financially. This is evident from the fact that the company has already obtained a $60 million contract from the US Air Force Stratfi in order to conduct these hypersonic testing. This kind of dual purpose activity will ultimately result in lower costs for all stakeholders. On the other hand, thanks to private space companies like SpaceX and their reusable rockets, the ongoing costs into space will also keep falling. And once the SpaceX famous Starship is operational, these costs will drastically decrease. This will bring a drastic change to our world and as setting into space becomes affordable and available, it will be considered a very feasible option for businesses making pharmaceuticals, superconductors or super alloys. Even now, the company is developing reusable space factory modules and is thinking about operating a production facility that is permanently in orbit, bringing supplies, machinery and upkeep equipment to dock with it as needed. If everything goes according to plan, VADA has a second trip planned for space later this year. The company anticipates that as their mission becomes successful, it will become a standard in the industry in no time kicking off the party with actual commercial and government clients in a manufacturing and testing setup. All in all, Varda's venture into space is more than just a mission for them. It's a step towards a day when space is fundamental to our society's economy, industries and way of life. As the success of this mission could open up a host of new opportunities for a number of industries around the world. That is it from today's video, we hope you enjoyed it. If you did, show some love and hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss out on any of the amazing videos we have in store for you.